The Philippine Coast Guard has issued a warning to mariners about the debris from a rocket that China launched yesterday. PCG said the rocket's debris is expected to fall approximately 243 nautical miles from the Philippine Rise and 318 nautical miles from Panay Island. The Philippine Space Agency reported that China launched a rocket from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in Liangshanyi Autonomous Prefecture in Sichuan. While the rocket is not expected to fall on land, the falling debris still poses a great threat to vessels. Yeah, nagaganya na ang China. Nag-escalate na sila. So they launched this from their prefecture's a satellite station. Uh, usually naman uh, like North Korea, they do this, no? They nagpapa uh, into the coastline of South Korea and then uh, they've been doing this before. Uh, China has been doing this to Taiwan also. Uh, but this is scary because uh, bihira to gawin sa atin ng uh, China. Is this a form of messaging or R&D lang ang masasabi nila, research and development purposes lang naman daw. Hindi okay, talaga ang uh, ano, very aggressive na rin sila dahil dun lang din sa, sa Eskola no, Show. Ayan, eh, yung tingita sa, sa screen mo, mm -hmm. yan ang pag-launch ng uh, missile. Yan, from the satellite yeah, station. Mag-iingat po yung mga pupunta dun sa bandang area na yun. And oh. I was just saying kanina, talagang very aggressive na sila dahil nga dun sa may Escoda Shoal, di ba, noong August 25, yung nagkaroon ng yeah. mga... Uh, ano pala yun, no? Ang ginawa ng Filipino, ng Philippine Coast Guard, 26 radio challenges to tell them na, di ba, you're, you're in our... Uh, uh, within our exclusive economic Non zone. Uh, pero siyempre, matigas din ang uh, kabilang panig na sinasabi nila kayo ang... Uh, ang uh, umaapak, di ba? Ang nandito sa aming uh, teritoryo. So, ano ba? Kailangan ba i-demo ano, i ulit ng uh, American Big Brother ang Typhoon Missile System dito? Ay, Kasi inalis na nila yung Typhoon System dito and then right after inalis yun, nagkaroon ng dialogue. Mm -hmm. If you remember that, di ba? Nagkaroon tayo ng dialogue with China. Eh, mukhang ang response nila sa dialogue natin ay eh, nagpapaulan ng missile uh, pang R&D purposes good. lang daw. Research and development. O, o di mag-R&D din tayo ng typhoon dito. Pero tumataas, lumalaki din. No? Lumalawak yung, ano, yung bilang ng mga Chinese vessel doon sa West Philippines. Oo, yung what happened sa Teresa, Mag sa Teresa Magbanwa. Mm -hmm. o, what happened? Napaligiran daw ng madaming uh, Chinese vessels. So from August 27 to September 2, 203 yung mga Chinese vessels na nakikita doon sa area that's na yan. From 163, ha? Coming from 163 yes, August 20 to August 26. Yes, that's an increase of four, almost 40 vessels in, in a month's time. Mm -hmm. oh, hindi natin kaya itong basan yung dami ng vessels nila. Mm -hmm. oh, but pwede tayo tulungan ni Big Brother. Pero di ba nag-offer nga sila sa mga susunod na mga yeah. resupply mission, uh, samahan daw Escort. nila. Escort. Pero yung, uh, so far, kasi nung una, ang sinabi din ng uh, National Security Council, di ba, this is going to be still Philippine operation, di ba? Filipino operation. Pwede naman Philippine operation, but we have to accept the fact na hindi natin kaya tumbasan ang might ng China with regards to air, sea, and land, di ba? So, uh, getting assistance from our neighbors is not all that bad. In fact, actually, it was suggested by a lot of... Pero ayaw nga ng China yun, di ba? Their narrative would always be bilateral daw pag-uusap. Yeah.